talking about? Amazing! It's huge! Well, wait, it's not going to suddenly start moving, right? Relax, it's completely still, and it's been ages! That's true, it's green from all the overgrowth on it. Alright, let's go. <laughs> now this will make for quite the story. I was wondering, have you seen your sister yet? Yep, but she said that she'd meet us at the end of our journey, and then she left. I see. It seems she has her own things to worry about. But it's alright. At least you were able to talk. How did she look? Was she doing well? Had she changed in any way? Well, according to him, nothing's really changed. He's hanging in there. <laughs> that sure is reassuring. I believe that you two will come to an understanding once your journey is over. You are siblings, after all. Here. What a great view! I just want to shout at the top of my lungs! Yeah! And even though we might not be viewing the meteor shower from here, it's a good place to practice! Oops! I was having too much fun and almost forgot about that! Before I left Inazuma, many people heard that I was looking for a meteor shower. So, they told me that they wanted to make wishes. I told them that they could write their wishes down on paper. So I ended up collecting several dozens of wishes. Whoa! That many? That's part of it, but more importantly, I've been wondering why people link meteor showers and wishes in the first place. After a lot of thought, I think I figured it out. People use fireworks to remember their most precious memories. And these memories sparkle and shine each time the fireworks fly. In other words, fireworks symbolize the past. And shooting stars make people think of wishes. Because wishes carry people's brilliant hopes and expectations for the future. One represents the past, and the other the future. They both bloom in the sky, but have completely different meanings behind them. It's really beautiful, isn't it? It's clear to me that I'm not the only one holding this belief. I'm sure my ancestor had similar views. I think that's how he drew inspiration from the meteor shower. His method was a wish of sorts to begin with. To join the past and future together and combine their beauty. At first, I wasn't completely serious about using the opportunity to travel abroad to see a meteor shower. But it became something like a mission once everyone had handed their wishes over to me. You and Mia. Hmm. Well said. And here Paimon thought you needed practice. Huh? Uh, that was fine. You both understand what I'm trying to say. Honestly, I thought it was pretty messy. I mean, these are all abstract topics that evoke a sense of admiration that's hard to put into words. Traveler? I did consider that possibility, and I won't lie. It'd be a real bummer if that were the case. I know that's the most realistic conclusion, and it's not like luck has to be on my side. But there's a premise to every legend, and that's belief. If I didn't take this step, it's not like a meteor shower would just rain upon me either. I wouldn't be where I am now. I wouldn't have known that they respond to wishes, and I wouldn't have seen all these beautiful sights in Sumeru. So I'm looking forward to the rest of our journey. Every single step of it. You really are amazing, Yoimiya. 
Uh, what? Oh, nothing. Paimon just thinks you're doing a good job with the wishes. Now we just need one other thing. Like we said earlier, we're gonna need to build a device. Yep, and once we use it to create an observation device, we can find where the meteor shower will be. I see. The purest ore. Hmm. Then why don't we go back to Sumeru City and ask the blacksmith? I chatted with him a bit when Avin was showing me around. He seems really knowledgeable. I bet he'll know something. Uh, but wouldn't we be bothering him? No one knows more about ore than a blacksmith. Uh, that's true. Let's go! <laughs> I wish we could fly over. What are we gonna do? If we really ask the blacksmith, he's gonna give us funny looks for sure! <sighs> You're right. Paimon will do her best not to say anything wrong. At first, Paimon felt bad about keeping you and Mia in the dark. But now, it feels like we made the right decision. Yep, that's why we're doing all this. You want to use the purest material to create a star observation device? Huh. That pair of specially crafted lenses should do the job. However, purest material is too vague. It'd be better if you were more specific. Firstly, this all sounds rather, uh, strange. I never heard that legend about meteor showers. You sure you're not just messing with me? for the trouble, but we are kind of messing with someone. Sorry, Inazuma's pretty far, so maybe some key information got lost across the ocean. Still, I want to at least give it a shot. Even though the information's vague, can you help us at all? Well, sure. Why don't I use some materials that might fit the bill and create up a mock-up device for you? That'd be great! Thanks so much for your help. No need to be so polite. You're my customer. Also, this kind of project is a nice change of pace. Maybe we can just pick a random one. It's not like we're really gonna use it anyway. No, that won't do. I don't think I can justify that to myself. If these were for ordinary use, then it'd be acceptable. Barely. But if you want a product that is top-notch, this is far from ideal. <laughs> Why are you so interested all of a sudden? Yeah, what now? Don't worry too much about the material. If you think it'll be difficult to obtain, we can get it for you. I want to try all our options. Hmm. Since we're on the topic of legends, allow me to tell you one about blacksmiths. All of us in Sumeru know about this legendary forging material. It possesses excellent properties that are matched by no other. Using it to forge something is every blacksmith's dream. Some spend their entire lives searching for this material in vain, while others have it in their possession, yet never use it in their forge. Huh? Why's that? That's because the material is too precious. 
Many believe themselves unworthy to work with it due to a lack of skill. In other words, not only does it represent the pinnacle of material quality, but also the culmination of a smith's skills. I constantly practice and hone myself so when I do encounter this material, we won't pass each other by like two ships in the night. So, you mean that it symbolizes dreams? Dreams, inspiration, obsession, focus. Call it what you want. But if you take it to symbolize purity, then I believe it is your goal as well. We call it Earthstone, but in truth, neither I nor my colleagues have ever seen it. It's more like a goal, and also a warning. This fits perfectly with the tale of the meteor shower! Then, why don't we go looking for it? Uh, is it even something we can find? Exactly! We're chasing down a legend, after all! What's true or not doesn't matter as much. If we do find it, that's a big win for us. And if we don't, maybe we can still find something that could be used as a substitute. When you put it like that... Hey, excuse me. If I might intrude, have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Yeah, she and I were hanging out not that long ago. What's the matter? Do you know where she went? She hasn't returned home yet. Huh? I wonder why. When we split up, she said she was heading home. Oh, dear. Oh. I'm sorry if I seem worked up. I'm Avine's mother. She's been depressed ever since she fell ill and was forced to use a wheelchair. I'm concerned about her mental health. If she does something reckless because she's not in a good state of mind... It's okay, don't worry. We'll help you find her. I can't say that I know her very well, but I think she just has a lot on her mind and is trying to come to terms with her feelings. That's reassuring. <sighs> she doesn't want to tell me anything, probably because she thinks nothing she says would make either of us feel better. But I can't tell what she's thinking if we don't communicate. I'm worried that I'll panic and make things worse by saying the wrong thing. Don't worry. I'm sure she has a reason for wanting some space to herself at the moment. We should just be open and understanding with her. But that does bring me to a question I've been mulling over in my head. Do you think there's something else going on in her life? Not that I'm aware of. I just know the illness was a big blow to her. She's always been physically active. She absolutely loved to run and jump, and she told me that she wanted to become a great adventurer someday. But after she became ill, she lost strength in both legs. She hasn't been able to stand since. We've consulted with countless doctors, but they're all stumped. They said all she can do is slowly recuperate. No one can say for sure if she'll ever stand or walk again. She believes that her legs will never recover, and her dreams of seeing the world would be forever shattered. <sighs> it's... This was all too sudden. Too unfair. Okay, I understand. I'll find a way to bring her around. Sorry, but it looks like we'll have to put our meteor shower search on hold. We're coming with you! Mr. Blacksmith, do you remember seeing a child in a wheelchair? Sorry, afraid not. I've been keeping my eyes on my anvil. But you're looking for someone, I suggest dropping in on Sadeg. He's my supplier. If anyone's aware of the comings and goings in Treasure Street, it'd be him. Do you know where we can find him? He's probably resting just over there. It's not far. your help with everything. We'll go over there and see what we can find out. Don't worry, I don't think she's gone too far. Thank you so much. He and I will continue asking around in the city. If you find her, please, let me know. Thanks again for helping.
Excuse me? Have you seen a child in a wheelchair? Hmm. Now that you mention it, that does ring a bell. I was moving some boxes at the time, and I saw her pushing her wheelchair so hard she was panting. I asked if she needed help, but she didn't respond, as if she didn't hear me. Sounds like there really was something on her mind. Yeah, that was the impression I got too. What's wrong? Did she go missing? Yes, so we're looking for her. I see. That's rather worrying. I know. I'll ask my friends and see if they know anything. She went that way. If you ask people as you go, hopefully you'll track her down. Okay, thanks. If you find out anything, don't forget to tell the people with the green scarves. <laughs> you mean the core of 30. Don't worry, I got it. Excuse me, uh, we're looking for a child in a wheelchair? Oh, I remember her. She went that way not too long ago. I asked her what she was doing. It's my job, after all. She just said she had something important to do and didn't want to be disturbed. That seems a little weird. Whatever the case, she left the city. If you follow that road, you should be able to find her. Gotcha. Thanks a lot. Huh. Hello there. Did a child in a wheelchair pass this way? A wheelchair? Oh, so that's what it was. I didn't get a good look, but something going pretty fast went sliding down that slope over there. Oh no, how dangerous. For sure. There's terrain of all sorts outside the city, and if that was the kid... Got it. It was over there, right? We'll be going now. Thanks. Care of her. Can you two look for her wheelchair? No problem. We'll be right back. for another one. You feeling any better? I know that must have been really scary for you. Mm. 
It's all right. You're safe now. We'll bring you back. Uh... Do you feel okay telling me why you had to come here despite the risks? If you don't want anyone else to know, we'll definitely keep it a secret. That's right! You can trust us! You're an Ara carving. My bestest friend... He went missing. The carving? Mean the one I gave you? Yeah. My illness is really bad. It's not just my legs. I've forgotten a lot of stuff, too. I used to love running. I loved the feeling it gave me, and the sound of wind rushing by my ears. But the longer I sit, the cloudier those memories get. I'm starting to forget how it feels to love something. But when I saw that wood carving, I remembered that I once had a best friend. He'd always run with me. Wait, was he an Aranara? Um, Paimon meant that it couldn't have been an Aranara, right? They're just fairy tale characters. But they aren't. They're real. They couldn't be more real. Hey, I understand. Okay, let's calm down. Tell us what happened so we can help you. Sorry, I got carried away. And I don't have any evidence to show you. Everyone says you can't see Aranara anymore once you become an adult. You have to say goodbye to your Aranara friends forever. I can't remember his name, or how he looked like. And soon, I'll even forget that he used to run with me. I don't want to become an adult. Not like this. I understand now. When you saw that carving, you were reminded of your friend. You came out here to look for him and remember that friendship. No matter how difficult things got. Isn't that right? Yes. I, I want to see him. I want to tell him that I I'm not angry with him. And that I didn't want to break our promise. But then... This happened. I'm not angry with him. Not at all. Cheer up. Something beautiful has happened. Beautiful? That's right. You remembered something about the Aranara, haven't you? Once you start remembering more things, you'll be able to find your friend again. And I'll help you. Yoimiya... Does this mean that you can also see our Nara? Sorry, I don't know if I can. I've only just arrived in Sumeru. Maybe I haven't seen one yet, or maybe I can't see them at all. But that doesn't matter. Whether I can see them or not doesn't change my belief that you can. <gasps> what do we do? Paimon really wants to help her. She didn't deserve any of this. Not her illness, or being separated from her friend, but... Huh? Me? Sure. Um, sorry. Wait here for a moment. I'll be right back. What's wrong? You look so serious all of a sudden. Oh, did you think I was overpromising back there? Don't worry, I have experience with this kind of thing. To her, reuniting with her R&R friend is the result. But recapturing her past joy and belief in herself is the process. And that's where our help is needed. I'm guessing that her sudden illness made her feel like she may not be able to realize her dreams anymore. It also made it difficult for her to hold on to the happy memories and dreams she had. Everyone has their own imagination. After some chance coincidence, she met Nara Nara. So as long as we help her rediscover that same feeling she once had, her Nara Nara will return naturally. Oh, so that's what you're thinking! 
adults only want to believe in objective reality. In doing so, they may unintentionally do harm to the innocent fantasies of children. But I think there are ways to get even subjective things back. So, how about it? Wanna help me out? <laughs> Looks like all this excitement made you forget your original goal again. <sighs> if we didn't do anything to help, I wouldn't be able to watch a meteor shower, even if it appeared right now. And would the stars really want their caller to have such a heartless soul? What are you trying to say? Because we can actually summon the Aranara. <laughs> really? Just watch! We have some tricks up our sleeves. So, this is an Aranara. I'm the one who should be apologizing. Sorry, uh, let me explain. I know that you only want to be seen by people you trust. It's rash of me to butt in. But this girl once had an Aranara as her best friend, and they haven't met in a very long time. She's been quite ill, and her world has been turned upside down. It's been so long since she's been able to see her friend that even her memory of him has become hazy. Parting with a friend like that is too sad, and she never wanted that to happen. That's why I want to help her. Her world is still very small. Too small for all the sadness she has to bear. As things are, all she can do is sit alone and think about how happiness is leaving her little by little. About how life has been so unfair to her. Yes. Maybe we're already used to bad luck and we know how to deal with feelings of sorrow and disappointment. This is her first time dealing with any of this. Life can trip anyone up. What's most important in times like this is for us to support one another. Huh? What do you mean by that? Thanks for trusting us. 